like the video and subscribe if you love Roblox. Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside of Build-A-Boat once again and today we are going to be testing more theories and myths that you guys want me to test out in the comments down below and we're gonna be putting them to the test and seeing if they work or if they're just myths. So make sure to go ahead and comment down below any myths or theories you guys want me to try out in the next video. You guys seem to really enjoy the series and like me testing out pretty much all the things that you guys comment below. It's honestly a very very fun video series in my opinion and you guys seem to really really enjoy it so if you guys want another part to this make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button to see if we get 1000 likes and without further ado let's go ahead and hop straight into the video i've been getting countless comments of people asking me to actually use the minigun on the rb battles mini games inside of the rb battles new stage that got added so let's go ahead and put it to the test okay so i've actually attached like six miniguns to this jet i don't even know if i can fly with this oh gosh this is gonna be oh gosh this is gonna be very interesting i don't even know if i could power the jet on okay maybe this was not the best idea to add six of these things on a jet okay this time i've actually got myself a platform and i also got a bunch of jets on it as well now the one thing about this rb battle stage that is kind of difficult is that the animatronics of russo and like the other rb battles hosts that like throw stuff at you like it actually does a lot of damage and it's quite hard to actually like go inside of the stage without taking any damage at all so it's going to be a little bit hard to do, but it's okay because I got all of my miniguns activated right now. So the comments are telling me to go over to the balloons and try doing it there and shooting the balloons on the wall. All right, let's do this. All right, all the miniguns shooting at the balloons right now. Okay, are they doing anything? All right, the, the balloons don't really pop at all. We've tried so many things inside of this stage. All right, let's try the bottles one one more time. All right, let's, uh, let's equip this. All right, here we go. All the miniguns are now equipped again. Three, two, one, and boom. All right, here goes the bottles. Shooting at the bottles, maybe even the animatronic. And bro, what happened to Russo's pants? All right, now let's go over to the targets over here where Russo's plushie is actually located. Let's see if these miniguns can do anything to the targets here. Anything over here? Nope, it does not look like the miniguns can work. Next theory or myth is do the morphs in build mode actually give you an advantage inside of the game or give you more gold for going through the stages? You guys can see these morphs are 250 Robux each and they do some pretty Pretty interesting stuff i will say if you transform into the fox here you do get a little jump boost and also a cool running animation and honestly just kind of looks a little silly i mean like the animations on this thing's pretty cool you probably would never think that this is an actual player inside of the game <laughs> but these models actually did get updated but they do actually give you some advantages if you guys don't know like the jumping is pretty interesting you can go just a little bit faster than you normally would but you can also combine these abilities with the candy and you can actually jump extremely high like look at at this what in the world is this? the chicken also makes you run just a little bit faster as well and i mean the jumping isn't i don't think it's as high as the fox but i mean you can literally like fly around which is kind of cool the cool thing i love about the penguin morph is that it is pretty quick i can't lie used to be able to jump extremely high with this morph but they uh actually nerfed it but this thing is just so small and it's absolutely hilarious i love this thing but do they actually give you more gold for passing through the stages well let's find out the maximum amount of gold i can get inside of the game because i have all the benefits from the group and i have the double gold game pass i usually get 237 gold maxing out the gold system all right so let's go ahead and try it out right now let's try to get 237 gold i'm going to just fly a plane through the stages and that should give me the maximum amount of gold all right let's go up here just like this let's sit in the seat this looks so silly all right let's try this let's now fly through the stages look at how small this little penguin is this is absolutely hilarious it literally looks like nobody's driving, which is kind of funny. All right, I made it pretty much halfway through the stages. I actually should be approaching the last stage. Oh, gosh. Wait, this stage might be the end of me. I can't lie. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, No. No, are you serious? But yeah, guys, it's basically proven that the maximum amount of gold you can get to ever inside a build is 237. Like, it's literally the maximum amount. Even if you die beforehand, you can't get over that, no matter what morph you are. But the morphs do give you a slight advantage than your normal avatar because they do move a little bit faster. So that's pretty cool. But is it worth the 250 Robux? Well, that's up to you guys if you want to buy it or not. If you want to be a fox, a penguin, or a rooster running around, that is up to you. Well, I've been getting a lot of comments saying that there's a secret 
it on this team that I'm on right now. If you actually go to Magenta team and you go over to, I believe it's this tree right here, apparently you can actually click on this branch and it'll open up a secret room. Now, this actually does not work. I've tried pretty much every single branch and people are saying inside of this room, you actually get free exclusive item. Well, that's kind of true and kind of not at the same time. This actually did used to be a secret inside of the game. In case you guys didn't know, Build a Boat actually used to have an orange team and it says right here, the orange team was one of the seven teams in Build a Boat for Treasure. It was soon replaced by Magenta team during the 2017 Christmas event. The orange flag along with its many spawn points have been permanently removed from the game alongside removal of the team. In the trivia right here, it does say there was a memorial for it found on Magenta team. The memorial was actually removed on 4-6-2020 inside of the up here is just a little snippet of somebody actually inside of the memorial you actually got a cool chest out of this and also you did get one gold every single time you opened it so i mean that used to be a secret inside of the game but now it's not so i guess that myth is actually it's not a myth but the theory doesn't really work anymore because they took it out of the game but it's definitely not a myth because it was inside the game before maybe they'll bring it back in the future who knows Try to do the terrain glitch on the vault door. Well, we actually just did this on the channel. You guys can see we actually got the vault door out of the plushy room inside of Villa Boats or the army battle secret room, whatever you guys want to call it. You can actually move this to your plot and fully customize the vaults to do basically whatever you want. You can make your own like security vault out of it. You could make your own like, I don't know, like you can literally build around it and it's honestly pretty cool. And yes, guys, this vault actually does work. The pin code does actually work on it as well. And this is probably one of the coolest things you can do with the terrain glitches inside of Villavo, which is absolutely insane. You can see you can put the pin pad in just like that. And then you guys can see, dun dun dun, the vault door is going to actually open up. It's all automatic and you can't actually break the vault door. It is the most secure thing inside of the game. The only downside to it is that you can't actually save it, which is unfortunate. But you can still move it in the same location every single time. It just takes uh, like probably like two minutes to actually do and you guys can see the vault door is literally gone here's another theory right here build something very pointy and make it pop one of the balloons inside the army battle stage okay this is interesting all right so i'm thinking instead of actually building something pointy what if i actually either bring the key into the rb battles stage or i actually bring a harpoon with me and see if the harpoon actually pops one of the balloons because if you guys don't know the harpoon is literally one of the like the most pointiest blocks inside of the game i don't think we can get anything more pointy than that right there so if that doesn't pop the balloon then i don't think you can get anything inside of the stage so we're gonna go ahead and test it out i'm also going to bring a key with me as well so i'm gonna go ahead and build the key just in case there's anything inside the stage we can use the key for don't mind me i'm gonna take this key from you right now all right we are now off i got the key in hand and i also have the harpoon as well and we're gonna see if this key opens up anything inside the army battle stage or anything like that i honestly have no idea how this is going to go Oh, we're gonna make our way over here to the stage. All right, we have now arrived inside of here. Okay, so now let's go over and we're going to use this harpoon right here and we're gonna try to use it on a balloon. Let's see if it pops it or not. I honestly have no idea if it will. And okay, it hit the balloon. It did not pop, unfortunately. Let's try one more time here. Let's try it on the blue one. I just missed that one. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, fusion. Oh no, our plane's going crazy. All right, here we go. All right, let's try it on this red balloon maybe. Let's try that one. All right, so yeah, guys, the, the harpoon does does not actually pop it but now i'm gonna try using the key on anything inside the stage here what if i use the key on the plushie i don't i don't know if this will work all right let's try using the key over on this like arcade thing right here let's see if this works as well does this work key do you go anywhere on here what about the very top of this thing maybe the target's over here do we have to activate the key on any of these i don't think the key does anything inside of the stage either so that is debunked i think we've honestly tried everything in existence to actually unlock the plushies inside the RB battle state or see if there's any more secrets But I don't think there's any more secrets But one thing I actually did come across that I found very very interesting is one thing in particular inside the RB battle stage And that is one of the mini games that's actually behind Sabrina There's actually a mini game inside of there that you have to like, hit the thing and it like you know shoots up Like you guys know that game where you hit the thing with the hammer you guys just saw it earlier inside of the RB battles game There's actually a punch high score game that got added inside of the RB battle 
Battles game that nobody really knows what it's for, but it just looks like the one that's inside of build a as well. That you punch the thing, it shoots up, and you get the highest score. So I don't know if this has any correlation at all. It's kind of odd that RB Battles randomly updated and added that. Why that's also a game inside of build a as well. It definitely could be something for RB Battles, but it also could mean absolutely nothing. But considering how build a had the green bit inside of it and also the blue sword inside of the past, it very well could be a connection to RB Battles and part of the storyline potentially. So go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. If you guys have any other myths you guys want me to test out in other videos, make sure you just go ahead and comment them down below. If you could like the video and subscribe, it would be very, very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys all inside the next one. Peace out and goodbye.